presentation which depicted our community as a racist town. Certainly I thought that was unfair. There isn't any reason at all to believe that we're racist because we have uh, a very, very small native population. So small, in fact, that uh, you can hardly tell they're here. Let's uh, go to the lines. Here's line one. Yes, go ahead, please. Hello, uh, is this uh, Lauren? Yeah. Uh, that's you, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling uh, uh, out from uh, La Pa, eh, in Manitoba. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm picking you up here. We're, uh, we're in the uh, lobby here. Ah, I see. And I was wondering, could I tell you a poem I, uh, I wrote? Sure. A poem? Yeah, it's a poem. Uh, what kind of poem? Well, for Christmas. For 20, uh, about 25th. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it falls on the same day. Yeah. Uh, Okay, uh, am I on now? Yeah, you're on. Uh, okay, Love uh, it was the morning after Christmas and all through the shack. The party was over. We're flat on our back. I woke up first and what did I see? Half a bottle of Logan Berry. Sydney and Billy were still fast asleep. I took the wine and flew to my feet. My head was throbbing. My eyes were quite sore. I put on my shirt and leapt through the door. All of a sudden, I heard a loud noise. I hit my bottle, I thought it was the boys, eh? The sounds overhead, so I looked on the roof. A little fat fellow was up on the roof. I told him, get down, you shouldn't be there, or I'll throw you down and I'll pull out your hair. He had a sleigh and reindeer to boot, a bag in which he was stealing our loot. I ran in the shack, hey, Billy, hey, sit. We're being rolled by a fat fella in red. He hopped in his sleigh and pulled at his sash. It was the first time we were rolled by a fat moony ass. Back in the shack, I told what I saw. They just laughed and said, Johnny, get back with your squaw. As I went to the back room, still mad as could be, I stopped in my tracks. A present for me. I knew then that fellow wasn't robbing at all. I ran to the window. Santa, Santa, I called. I heard him say as he rode out of sight, Merry Christmas, Johnny, now don't you get tight. Oh, that's beautiful. You like that, eh? You, you write that yourself? Yeah, I uh, made it up, uh, well, it was in August. So How are I, things uh, in Le Pas? Oh, they're pretty good. It's uh, raining a bit today. Uh, got uh, one of those schnooks. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, can I uh, say hello to somebody? Uh, sure, go ahead. There. Yeah, yeah and, uh, my sister Sarah is up in Regina. I'd like to say hello to her. And uh, I saw that program, and they're not treating them pretty good. And uh, another fellow up there is uh, Ian Pickle. I went to school with him. Yeah? Yeah, I think he works at uh, Wheat Pool. Yeah? Yeah. Was he a good student? Oh, it wasn't too bad. He um, had a lot of lot to say all the time, you know. I, I didn't know too much. He went to... Uh, or something. Did he spend his money pretty loosely at that time? Oh, no. I think he still got the first dollar he made. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling, sir. Yeah, okay. I, I, maybe I could say hi to him, too. Eh? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Hello. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Ian. Eh? Okay. Well, we have a little bit of a problem keeping everybody on, on topic here. 523-3956 is our number. 523-3956. Let's go to line two. Go ahead, please. Hello. I was wondering, uh, was that fellow who read that poem, was he uh, Indian? I really couldn't tell, ma'am. I couldn't uh, see him. Well, was, was, or was that Ian Beckles? No, no, he said he was a friend of Ian Bickles. Oh, because I, uh, I saw him on uh, pool views. I see. It sounds like him, you know. Yeah. Do you think Regina's a racist town? Oh, well, certainly. It is. Why, why, why is that so? Well, I know myself. Uh, it's hard to get uh, served in a cafe and that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I have to go now. My cab's here. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Five two three three nine five six is Regina a racist town. That's our topic on the clothesline this morning. Let's go to, uh, back to line one. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, calling. I saw that program last night, and I, I thought it was bad, badly done. Uh, in, in what way? Well, it depicts us as a bunch of racists, and, and I don't think it's true. I know my wife and I were down on Rose Street, and we were shopping there. Well, our... and, and And there was drunk Indians, and it, this was, uh, nine in the morning, Lauren. Nine in the morning? Well, certainly. I find that hard to believe, that uh, there'd be someone, uh, Dipping into the juice, so to speak, into the sauce that early in the day? Well, sure. They were right on the street. They wouldn't let my wife pass. They wouldn't let me pass. Lucky there was a patrol car there. Yeah? Did they say anything to you? No, they just stood there. It didn't, didn't bother us at all. They just wouldn't get off the sidewalk. How could you tell they were drinking? Well, you could tell they were... One fellow was walking on all fours. I see. 
Uh, you don't think we're a racist town, though? Well, well, no, but some of these people, I just think they drink too much. Well, thank you for your opinion, sir. Okay. All right, ready. 5233956 is Regina a racist town? That's our topic. Let's go back to line three. Go ahead, please. Hello. What? Hello. 5233956 is Regina a racist town? That's our topic. Let's go back to line three. Go ahead, please. Hello. What? Hello. Hello. Is there somebody there? There's, uh, is this a line here? Yes, yes, it is. It's the clothes line. Call me racist. I, I beg your pardon, sir? Uh, racist Indians drinking. Well, do they uh, drink at 9 o'clock in the morning? What? I said, do you drink at 9 o'clock in the morning? Have you, for example, have you been drinking today? Well, have you? No, not that uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm sure I'll say that. Well, do you drink at 9, though? What? You drink at 9 o'clock in the morning? Who? You. Well, do you? No, I don't, but uh, I've already said that. But do you? Who? You. Do I? Who is this? Uh, this is the clothesline. Five two three three nine five six. You're on the air, you know. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Uh, Lauren Harrison. I'm the host of a talk program on a local radio station. Oh, I, who, I think I got what? Wh who are you trying to get? Well, I phone a number. Well, five two three three nine five six. Which number are you trying to get? Is this a uh, Moore's taxi? No. No, I'm sorry. This is a talk show. You've been on the air. Oh. Yeah. Let's see that. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Okay, moving right along. Our number is 523-3956. 523-3956 is Regina Racist Town. That's the topic. Let's go to line three. Yes? Hello? Hello, Ron. Uh, yes, uh, ma'am? Yes, I'm calling in uh, regards to the program yet. Uh, ma'am, can I get you to turn your radio down, please? I haven't called at all. Well, you must have, ma'am, because I can hear some feedback. Would you just uh, go over and, and crank it down a little? Oh, just a minute. Fine, that's, that's better. That's better. Yes, Lauren? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I listen to your show all the time, and I myself am not a racist. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've seen some of the programs. I know some of my best friends have Indian cleaning ladies. Oh, that's very bigger than the others. And, and I know they're not racist. I see, mm-hmm. You know... And, and, and look what the Indians have nowadays. Nothing's wrong with Indians. They, they just can't hold liquor, and, and, and they're not reliable at all. I, those are their only uh, shortcomings. I see. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even if you see them, they, they have lots of children for the simple reason that they don't have television. Uh, I see. I see. Look uh, at the nice jails they built for them. Well, I think they should be very appreciative. You know, and, and I think the whole show is wrong myself. Uh, we're not we're not racist whatsoever. No, not at all. Mm hmm Well, I mean, I... I've, I've I've ridden on the bus with Indians. Mm hmm uh, You've actually ridden with them. Well, sure. Would you uh, get up and give your seat to one? Well, I, I don't know if I do that. Oh, of course. Uh, Would they for... give their seat to me? I don't know. Uh, Would you give them your seat? Uh, I think if it was a uh, an Indian lady, yes, probably. Well, thank you very much. You're not a racist yourself. Uh, I like to think that I'm not, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. I just want to say those views. Fine, thank you, ma'am. Bye. Right. Well, that's all the time we have for today's broadcast. I guess it goes without saying, on the basis of the comments you've heard, that Regina is indeed not a racist community.